Hi, I'm Jared, and in this short video, I want to show you how to calibrate your syringe with the Digivol. The main reason to use syringe calibration is to further improve the accuracy of a dispense volume from a syringe. The specification for all the Digivol syringes for accuracy is less than 1%. So for example, if I'm dispensing 1000 microliters from a 2.5 mil syringe, the dispense volume will be in the range from 990 to 1010 microliters. But from hundreds of tests on our syringes, we have found that the accuracy in an uncalibrated syringe is much tighter than this. Nonetheless, by calibrating the syringe, the accuracy will often improve to less than 0.2%. Also in some regulatory environments, syringe calibration is mandatory and ongoing validation is also required to ensure the syringe maintains the calibration. Let's go through the process in the software of letting the Digivol know the syringes we have available and then we'll calibrate some syringes. In the settings module, we have an option for My Digivol Syringes. I'll select this and then I have a 250 microliter syringe available to me. So I'll add this syringe by selecting Add a syringe. And then in the drop down list, I'll select the 250 microliter syringe. To start with, I'll leave this as an uncalibrated syringe, which is the default, and then save this. You can now see the 250 microliter syringe has been added to the list of available syringes for my Digivol. To calibrate the syringe now, I'll select Modify, and then in the calibration type drop down list, I'll select Single. We'll discuss the multi point calibration shortly. Single point calibration is ideal for an application where you are always dispensing the same volume from this syringe. For example, if I was creating a series of calibration standards and was dispensing an internal standard volume of 90 microliters from a 250 microliter syringe into all my standards and my prepared samples, then calibrating the one syringe for a single volume of 90 microliters would make good sense. In this case, I'll enter the serial number of this particular syringe, which is 30AB5. Each syringe has a unique serial number, which is located on the barrel of the syringe. I'm going to calibrate this syringe for a single target volume of 90 microliters, and the measured volume averaged from 10 replicate weigh-ins on a five-figure balance, and adjusted for density, is 89.95 microliters. So I'll enter this value into the measured volume field. The calculate button now turns green and is active and selecting this will calculate the correction factor. I'll confirm the calibration and select save. You can now see the status of the syringe has changed to calibrated. The syringe can still be used to dispense any volume from 10% to the maximum volume of the syringe, but will only be calibrated when the volume is plus or minus 5% of the nominated calibration volume. For this particular calibration, that means the volume dispense will need to be in the range 85.5 to 94.5 microliters. To show you the multipoint calibration, I'll add a 2.5 mil syringe and choose multipoint as the calibration type. Multipoint calibration is used when you want to dispense any volume between 10% full scale volume and the maximum volume of the syringe. So for the 2.5 mil syringe, this would be the range from 250 microliters up to 2.5 mils. The syringe is calibrated using a linear regression approach and three measured volumes are recorded at 10%, 50%, and 100% full scale volume. Therefore, for the 2.5 mil syringe, you can see here the target volumes are 250 microliters, 1,250 microliters, and finally 2,500 microliter volumes. We have weighed out the water for 10 replicates for each of these volumes and adjusted for density. The volumes entered are 250.65 microliters, 
1,255.38 microliters and 2,510.61 microliters. The calculate button turns green and is now active. Once this is selected, a graph displaying the calibration points together with the linear regression equation and the correlation coefficient, r square is shown. An extra point of 0, 0 has been automatically included as a calibration point. To see how close each data point is to the regression line, the residual values are displayed by selecting this. The residuals are displayed as a percentage, and if these values deviate more than 1% from the line, it is recommended that that point be reconsidered through further weighings. As we return to the home screen and then select Change Syringe, we can see that the 250 microliter and 2.5 mil syringes are now displayed and can be connected. The part number, serial number and the calibration type are displayed. In the Calibration Standard module, as I select Create Edit Cal Standard, the list of available syringes is shown, and this list now includes these two calibrated syringes. I have previously created a method named MyMethod2, and as I run through the various screens, I can see this method will use a 2.5mm syringe for the stock standard and will dispense 90 microliters from a 250 microliter syringe for the internal standard. The standard will be made up to volume in a 10 mil volumetric flask. As we have a look at the parameters for the 2500 microliter syringe, we have the choice of using the syringe as calibrated or not calibrated. And if we had more than one calibrated 2.5 mil syringe, we could select another one through the serial number. For the 250 microliter syringe, again we could choose this in calibrated or uncalibrated mode. And there is a warning stating that the syringe is only calibrated if the calibrated volume is within 5% of the nominated single volume, which in our case is fine because we are dispensing 90 microliters of internal standard and the syringe has been calibrated at 90 microliters. Finally, we shall look at a standard method, but first connect the 2.5mm multipoint calibrated syringe. For a standard method, the method is associated with the syringe, which is connected at the time the method is created. In fact, when the 2.5mm multipoint calibrated syringe is attached, only methods associated with this syringe will be able to be edited or run. The syringe associated with a particular method, however, can be changed by simply changing the attached syringe to another syringe of the same volume and then copying the original method and giving the new method another name. I hope this short video has shown you how to create a calibrated syringe with the Digivolve software. Bye for now.